Hello everybody, welcome back. We are gonna be doing something really cool today. I'm going to show you how I tumble my rocks. So tumbling rocks is kind of a new hobby of mine and I'd love to show you what I use and the different methods that I have done to make the rocks look really cool and shiny and glassy. So stick around and I'll even show some before and afters of the rocks when they're done. Let's pick some rocks to go in it, shall we? As you can see, some of these rocks I've already polished, but I just didn't like the quality of them. They got chips in them, um, or just didn't look as good as I wanted them to. So I'm going to try retumbling them. All right, now that we have the rocks that we are going to tumble here, I'm going to go through and show you some of the rocks so that we can see a good before and after. So I plan to put the before and after side by side so that you can see exactly how they look. So let's look at this first one. Number two. Number three. Beautiful agate. You can see where I found this one in this video. Number four. Number five. One I've polished already, but it had these little cracks in here, so I'm hoping that the cracks go away. Number six. Number seven, another agate. Got some nice quartz in there. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. Twelve and thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. Here's what the rest of them look like. Like I said, I will be redoing some of these, so I figured I didn't really need to show those ones, but here's what they all look like together, the ones that we're going to be monitoring, and let's put them in. All right, I ended up taking two of them out for next time because it was a little bit too full. So I've got my tumbler barrel here full about, I'd say, two-thirds of the way. Time to add the water. So we want to put it in just where it's about to the top of the rocks. I just realized I forgot to add an important step. We got to put our ceramic media for rock tumbling in there. This stuff helps so that the rocks don't damage each other too much when they are tumbling around and it fills in the little spaces so that hopefully this time around it will get in some of those nooks and crannies um, that it didn't get in last time and then for the new rocks to polish up those little areas. Okay, much better. Now it is on to step one. So we are going to do one tablespoon per pound of rocks. I have two pounds, so we're gonna put in two tablespoons. This stuff looks so cool. And second scoop. Watch us. Always put the cover on right away. On with the lid. Nice and tight. And the top. Twist it on tightly within reason so that there are no leaks. Excuse the poor lighting. I do do this in the basement so that it is not quite as noisy. We will check back on these in eight days. It's been about eight days. Time to check the rocks. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the rocks now after one week of tumbling. We're gonna do some rinsing and some cleaning and then we'll take a peek. All right, in they go. This part is definitely the most satisfying. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that reveal. Time to give them a nice good rinse. Right, and because I am going to be showing you guys these um, kind of close up like this, especially when they're in the first stage, you do not want them to dry out because the grit that's stuck in some of the little cracks will make the rocks um, split. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put these in just some water in here and then we're going to go through them. Um, usually don't have to do this step, but since I'm going to take some time to look at them closer, I figured that would be probably best just to make sure that they don't crack. First up, got this cool guy. 
I'm almost wondering if I should tumble this one in grit one again because it does have some bumpy parts and you can really see the nice texture coming through on the bottom here. But we'll, for the sake of the video, probably just keep it going on and if I don't like it by the end, I'll just throw it back in at maybe stage two or so. Here is one that I am re-tumbling from before. How oh, it's looking so far. And another one. Here we got a gorgeous agate. Looking pretty good. All right, here's this little guy. Now look at this beauty. This is a giant agate. Look at that. You can really see the detail. Oh, that looks so cool. I love how this one is turning out. And I wasn't sure on this one actually if it was an agate or not. After tumbling it, I can see that yes it is. This one's looking good too. Another gorgeous agate. Another really cool looking one. I was really excited to see the colors in this one. You can see the back is just kind of plain, but look at that. Look at that beautiful coloring. It's almost like a green, greenish blue, beautiful. Here's the little flat guy. This porphyry is looking pretty cool as well. I absolutely love how unique this one is. It's looking pretty cool. And here they all are together. So now we are going to do a one day tumble cycle with one drop of dish soap and the water covered to the top layer of the rocks, just like before. We'll put back in our ceramic pellets. Fill the water up just to the bottom. There we go, that looks pretty good. Time for a single drop of dish soap. All right, there it is. Now if you put too much, as expected, you could make your tumbler have lots of bubbles, which is not good when you wanna keep a tight seal. I'll show you tomorrow what this looks like and you will see that the water will no longer be clear. So it's a good thing to do this step so that it doesn't carry grit over from this stage into the next stage. Nice and sealed. It's the next day, let's check out the rocks. So we're gonna take a look at the rocks now and see what washing them in just water and a one drop of dish soap will do. You're gonna see how dirty they actually were going back in. Look at that water already. So you can see why it is a good idea to <laughs> run your rocks in water and soap. All of that grit would have been left on the rocks for the next tumbling stage, which would have made the rocks have little bits of grit stuck inside them, which is not good. Rinse them off. All right, put them back in the tumbler, and now I filled up the water to about that um, top line there. We are now on step two. We'll put one scoop per pound of rock. So we'll put one, two, and time to close it back up and back on for seven more days till our next step. Time to check on the rocks. All right, so we are done with Step two, these are really starting to look super cool. Oh, wow. And some of these ones that are like redos from before are really, really started to, oh, look at how pretty. Oh my goodness. I did not expect, I think, wow, this is a galaxy stone. I was not able to see any of this detail here before, and you can really see. Wow, that is really, really pretty. Here is an obvious favorite. Look at that agate goodness. This one is looking really unique as well. 
time to prepare these for the next step. I'll do another time lapse for this one since we've kind of went through what you do. Um, it's the same, same process for this step, for step three. Also, I am gonna be adding just a little bit more ceramic media to this um, because as you can see, it's just barely half full and I would like it a little more full than this while we are tumbling. All right, time to take this back inside for another week of tumbling. All right, away we go. See you in a week. Time to get the rocks. All right, it's time to check on the rocks. Let's see how they look. They are looking really good. I'm also really glad that I retumbled this Jasper because you can really see a lot more of the coloring and like the detailing coming up. So glad I did that. Also, this one is really leading the way as one of my favorites. It is just gorgeous. Look at that. It's so unique. These ones are turning out pretty cool. This one's really kind of becoming quite thin. So hopefully it doesn't break. We only have one step left, I think, after this. So I'm hoping that it won't. A couple more of the quartzes. Big smoky quartz. Time to, oh, I can't forget about this one. Ooh. Look at that. That is so pretty. It almost reminds me of like a nebula or a galaxy or something. It is time to uh, put these guys in a nice soapy bath. Get all that extra grit off. And then it will be time for round three. This will be the same steps as last week. Ooh, that's looking cool. So I'll probably just do another time lapse. Um, but it's just putting them in water and adding one drop of dish soap, then letting them tumble for one day. And then we go back and add the grit. Time to tumble them for a day. See you tomorrow. Time to check on the rocks. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we got some bubbles. Look at that. It is just always crazy to me how much grit is left over. You can even see. Uh oh, hopefully that's not a bad sign. Looks like lots of little pieces of chipped off rocks. So hopefully these look good. Um, let's get them rinsed off and ready for the polish. Woohoo! Hey, look at them now. I don't see too much damage. There's kind of like little nicks and stuff in certain places, but I wasn't sure what to expect when I saw those pieces at the bottom of the tumbler. So I am glad to see that everything looks okay. All right, time to get the barrel filled back up. Now, as you can see, this is not very full. And when you are going to do the polishing stage, it's really important to have the barrel at the two thirds line with either rocks or um, ceramic media, that sort of stuff. It just helps so that when the rocks are tumbling around and getting polished in there, they're not hopefully doing a lot of chipping on each other, kind of like we saw those little chips that were coming off of it earlier. It just provides more of a cushion as they are tumbling around, hopefully ensuring a really cool shine. We'll add some more tumbling media. Now it's time to add the polish. This is like my favorite part because it means they're almost done. So I like to do two heaping scoops. There's number two. As you can see, I don't really have that much left. So I'm just doing two heaping scoops. It is also kind of expensive, so I like to only really use what I absolutely need. Now back on for the longest amount of time, 15 days. All right, it is finally time to look at the rocks. I'm so excited. 
Great. these are looking pretty good I'm like super impressed with how these are turning out and there's just one step left to do so as you can see in some of the areas that are not completely smooth and shiny we have some polishing material left in the little areas now personally I actually really like not having completely smooth rocks because I think when they're really smooth, it ends up not looking like rocks to me. So, just getting them wet here so that they stay uh, moist without getting any cracks in them. Um, so like I was saying, I do like them kind of having little imperfections in them because then, to me, they look still like rocks. So, our last step will be to put these back in for one more day with water and a little bit of dish soap to clean them off and finally check out our results oh i'm so excited all right let's do it we are finally ready to put these back in for one more day and then i am so excited to look at how they turned out i know for you it's like in a blink of an eye this stuff happens but for me it's been weeks all right it is finally time for the grand reveal Let's take a look at those rocks. All right, in they go for the last time. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let me finish rinsing them off and then let's take a look at what we got. All right, look at this cool one, our galaxy stone. It turned out really, really pretty. I absolutely love that. Oh, so much cool detail. Next up, we got this cool little guy. It's interesting because these parts are bumpy, but the white areas are relatively smooth. So, kind of a unique one. This one turned out amazing. That is absolutely beautiful. Can see the glassy shine. Next up is our little honeycomb quartz. This one turned out super cute. Loving it. Another absolutely gorgeous result. Look at how oh, glassy and smooth this one is. I love it. You can see the quartz in there. I think that looks really cool. It's our little agate. Here are a few smaller ones that I just dried. This one's pretty big actually, but these turned out really good. We've got some marble. We have some red jasper. Um, and then a few that I honestly just don't really know what they are. I thought this one was a cool shape. It's like a half circle. Really cool. Turned out great. Here is a retumbled red jasper from before. I'm really glad that I retumbled this one. Let me dry it off a little bit more here. So this one looks really, really good. Before this area, I just didn't like, and now, as you can see, it is looking really good. So I think that this turned out really, really cool. Here's another agate. This one did lose its banding, unfortunately, throughout the tumbling process. Um, I still think it's pretty, but I was kind of hoping that the banding would stick around. The other absolutely gorgeous one, look at that. Oh, got a dog hair on it. But look at that. I just love that color, that kind of greenish teal here and here with the red in the middle. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Turned out so good. Here is a gorgeous agate. Look at that. I absolutely love the banding in there. It's kind of like a white agate on the inside, but it does have some almost blue surrounding it. So I think it looks really cool. And again, I think it turned out awesome. Gorgeous smoky quartz, turned out good. Here is another one of our agates. You can see um, some of the polish is stuck inside of these little cracks here. I like the cracks, um, but I don't like the polish stuck in them. So I'll probably tumble 
this one a little bit longer um, just in some soapy water with some ceramic media to really get out that polish that you can see in there might be hard to tell on camera but I absolutely love the depth of this one you can see like the many different layers that brown is kind of like on the surface and then that darker color in there is kind of more deep within the rock so it looks really really cool um, kind of looking at the different layers in this one love it here's another retumble turned out great do a little more rapid fire now we've got some more looking good here is our little unique banded one here's another big guy a few more look pretty cool this one almost is like green so you can see these ones are still a little bit wet I'm running out of room on my cloth to dry them <laughs> But I like it because it's kind of green. A few more gorgeous ones. Love the bright red jasper. This one is almost purple. Looking so cool. Here's another really cool one. This one turned out super, super interesting. Like I just love those little white dots. I don't know what they are, but they look so cool. And here they are all together. They really turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love tumbling rocks. So fun. They turn out so cool. So hopefully you guys liked this. Gave you some tips and tricks on tumbling rocks. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was really fun to make to see all the different changes, different things that happened between the first week we put them in all the way up until now. I think they turned out really, really cool. And I hope you liked it. If you like this kind of content, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos every week. And tell me what was your favorite rock that we tumbled this week. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!